when I was asked to be in the house, on the house of La Viata in Washington, D.C., where we started. And, um, this little nice skin queen came up to me, you know, and said, Miss Nate, you know what? You just need your feet for real to you. I was like, okay, girl, I don't know if I'm not fear. Was there a man or was there a man, girl? But, you know, I was traveling back and forth from here to New York and going to the Sound Factory. And yeah. Watching all the kids dance and carry on and, and the molding and the separation. Oh, I would say it was over, girl. And then actually moving here to New York. And I remember moving here to New York and the same person said, Miss Kevin! Miss Kevin! We're going to pick you up at the train station, girl. Don't you even try it, girl, okay? So she picked me up and she took care of me on this thing. And I just wanted to say that, you know what? <laughs> this person has a vision that... How many years has it been? How many years? Huh? How many years? 89, 89, she had a vision. 24, 24 years, this queen had a vision. And I must say to you right now, at this moment in time, the day, the day he told me all this stuff, today it came true. So, um, before we even get started here, I want to introduce to you the father of the House of Aviance. You children might not know him. This is Daddy Aviance. So I want you to welcome my father. It's just a prime example of, like I told one when we talked the other night, I got here Friday, and I said in 19... Take your time, Daddy. In 1989, when we started the house, we, the house was started, and it was started out of love. And we took in everyone, regardless of their ethnicities, race, whatever you, your walks were in life, we loved everyone. And it wasn't about the ball scene, the viciousness, the shade. It was about loving people. And so, even though, even though today I live in the Midwest and Juan lives here in New York, I at one time lived in Washington, D.C. I moved back to the Midwest where my family is. And to go on in ministry, well, I told Juan, I said, we're sharing, we're sharing the same dream. God is using you in a different way, but we're basically doing the same thing. So it is not a contradiction to believe in there's a God and to believe in this. This is love. This is what Jesus taught. Jesus taught love. And tonight is a prime example of when people come together on one accord for the same purpose. Because we live in a very cold world, and it's time that we get back to the basics. Back in 1989, when we went to the clubs, it was about love. People came out to party, have a good time, and it was love. It wasn't about being shady, it wasn't about fighting, it wasn't about backstabbing. I mean, you had a few kids that did crazy things, but for the most part, it was love. And I told Juan, I said, you know what? I said, I, I see, a lot, and Juan said he doesn't like to compare himself to Jesus. I said, well, Jesus went out into the world. He said, go forth to all nations and teach my gospel. You're teaching love. That's what Christ represents. So it's not a contradiction to love and to, to, to have a spiritual belief. So I just want to say thank you all for coming out and supporting the House of Albion.
tell people, this thing is bigger than me. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than Juan, it's bigger than Kevin. It's a God thing. It's about love, and that's what he wants us to love one another. Regardless of our background or whatever we, our sexual, whatever, whatever we want to do, it's about love. So the House of Albion, I want everyone to know, it's not about a ballroom, it's not about Mother Juan, it's not about Kevin Albion, although we are the beginning.
friend, sitting next door with me. Off in Vegas. When I was in high school. I'm trying things to be right, and that's just how it is. It has nothing to do with you, it has to do with me. So when I'm complaining, and bitching, and David, and the sound system, and you gotta change things around, and all that stuff, it's only because I know the taste, I know what you want, and my job is to make your dream.
Dios. Dios.